Hi, my name is Joshua Adigu. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, AG Tech House. Today, I'll be talking to you about losing access to Microsoft 365 after September 30th, 2025. But before I proceed with this quick video, I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, AJ Tech House. I'd like you to like my videos, share my videos with um, your friends and colleagues that you think would need these um, videos. Why would you lose access to Microsoft 365 after the 30th of September 2025? Microsoft sent out a communication that um, after the 30th of September 2025, the old multi-factor authentication method portal would no longer be available because they are retiring this portal. And then users, your users in, in organizations that um, their multi-factor authentication methods are still being managed in the old um, portal might face challenges signing in, right? Um, this is because if you do not migrate before the 30th of September, 2025, they might have issues signing in with the authenticator apps or the different methods of authentication for the true factor or the MFA, um, multi-factor authentication basically. And um, just to give you a quick background of what MFA means, MFA is multi-factor authentication. It's a two-step verification method that is added on the, the, the traditional um, authentication method, which is um, signing you with the username or email and password, right? So um, MFA, it's very good in organizations, enterprise organizations, small scale, medium scale, and even large scale businesses, right? Just to guard against bad actors and unauthorized um, users. So how would you know if um, you've been migrated to the new or the modern MFA portal um, if the migration is complete, if it is started or not, or if it's in progress, right? Uh, when you log into um, your Azure portal, you would see um, where you need to, uh, you'll see the status where it is written, either in progress, not started, or even completed. So there are three status um, there. Number one is not started. means It means you've not started the migration process. Um, the second um the second status is in progress, which means the migration is in process, but it's not yet completed. And the third status is the completed um, status, which means the migration of the um, MFA methods from the old portal to the new one is completed. And then what you need to do as quickly as possible. I'm not saying as soon as possible. I'm saying as quickly as possible so that your users and even yourself do not face um, challenges signing in to your Microsoft 365. Number one, you need to review your tenant MFA setup. Uh, on the screen, you can see the portals to the legacy portal, the, the, the URLs to the legacy portal, and then the URL to the modern portal. Number two, you need to migrate the MFA method. So if you have not done that, you need to do this as quickly as possible so that you don't have to scramble around in the dying minute, having to reach out to Microsoft support for assistance when your users begin to have issues. So quickly, I will just go into the portal and then show you what it is. So um, I have my multi-factor authentication uh, major portal open here. So you can get to this place by um, from your admin center. You get to the admin center and then you click on um identity and it takes you to the entra id portal when you get to this entra id portal next thing is to on the left hand side in the menu you would see authentication methods you click on authentication methods this is on under entra id so this is a sub menu under entra id you click on authentication method and then you have another menu here automatically the first menu which is policies is um, selected so as you can see here it says manage migration right it says on september 30th 2025 the legacy mfa and self-service password reset policies will be deprecated 
and the settings will be managed here that is in entra id no longer um in the modern um in the in the legacy um portal so and you can see here the migration status here shows in progress which means this has not been completed so what do you need to do to make this completed as quickly as possible you click on begin automated guide and then you read through the, the document or the, the information that is presented on the screen and then as you can see here we have current authentication method settings we have links to the legacy portal links to, um, link to the sspr portal and then the a link to migrate um, this both the MFA and SSPR to the new modern portal. Um, I've gone through the, those. I'll just click on next. And when I click on next, right, it takes me to the review page where I need to review all the methods, the pass key, the temporary access, the Microsoft Authenticator, hardware, OAuth tokens, software OAuth tokens, email OTP, SMS, and voice Home. So depending on the, the method you have set for your users, right? You see um, this here and then you click on my migrate. When you click on migrate, all things being equal, you have an information that is presented here, whether you want to proceed or not, um, you have to do this. So you just need to click on continue. All things being equal, you should get a successful screen like this one. And then it says migration complete after the background process has taken place and everything has run um, in the background. Thank you very much for your time and for listening to me. Please do ensure you get this done as quickly as possible. And if you, you are seeing this video late, um, you can reach out to Microsoft for assistance and then um, I think they should be able to assist you on this. Again, do not forget to um, like my video subscribe to my YouTube channel, AG Tech House, and share my videos with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye-bye.